Welcome to face, Olivier. Hello? Waiting for you to unmute. There you go. Can you hear me? Got you, Olivier. Excellent. Great to, great to meet you. Great to meet you. I just li listened a bit to the to the past interview. Um, yeah, I'm. Uh, yeah. I, I guess we're we're already recording, and this is the interview. Yeah, this is it. We're this is uh, we're live now. If you have some charts or anything to share, Olivier, you just go to share screen. Where is it? There's a that? green box, uh, drop down uh, okay. menu. See that little green box? You click it, it'll show share. There you go. All right. Okay, I, okay. are we going to do this for around 30 minutes, something like that? Uh, well, we'll just uh, play it by area, yeah, 20, 30 minutes. Uh, and oh. just uh, before we get into the charts, you know, um, I know I read a little bit about you. I went to your uh, website slash blog and God, you know, what, what great resources you have on the right hand side of articles written by some of the legends of trading and you know it's really a great resource i want you to show that near the end of the interview can you tell us how you got involved in the first place and what you may have been doing beforehand and uh, your entree into the trading business how that happened uh, i started trading in january 99 um uh, yeah, let's let's call it almost the end of the the dot com bubble, and uh, got hooked. Um, and uh, I was uh, my way to becoming a teacher, but then I I decided to uh, to become a trader basically, and uh, I I stopped well, teaching. Both re both require patience, don't they? Pardon? Both require patience. E Yes, but I, I would say the, the, the teaching part is still part of my personality, but I prefer teaching, you know, with my premium uh, stuff. I, I do videos and um, let me put it that way. It's, you know, when you teach children, they often don't want to uh, listen to what you have to say. And when you teach adults, it's, it's more rewarding. At least that's the way I yeah. see it. So, okay. All right. Um, uh, for, I mean, what we, good? I mean, if you have this knowledge or even a material possession, what good is anything until it's shared with another? That is also a big part. You know, it's, you know, obviously when you, I've been trading for, it was, this is my 23rd year now, I believe. Um, you know, I've benefited a lot from, from other traders and it's, you know, I mean, it sounds so, so trite, you know, cliche, you know, uh, giving back, etc. but it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a mixture of many things, you know, you give back, you, you're still part of the, you know, trading community. Yes. Um, it's also, you know, I view it as, uh, you know, somehow keeping a journal, you know, I'm, I'm accountable, you know, it's, it's, you know, you talk about stuff and then you, you have to, you know, constantly be open-minded and willing to adapt to new situations. And uh, yeah. Uh, when, oh, yeah. Um, when, when, People. when, when, when the trend People changes, remember, you, ha you have to change uh, you, you, your approach, you know. Oh, yeah. this kind of have thing. you ever noticed that, uh, you know, there are a lot of people out there in FinTwit that have a better memory for your mistakes than what you well, did, that's, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, social, uh, that's social media, the, the worst yeah. part of uh, social media. Yeah, Jackson um, Brown has a line in uh, one of his songs is, don't remind me of my failures. I have not forgotten them. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah. it's, uh, I've had a, a very good year in 2020 this year. Uh, nothing really much is moving on my way. Uh, so a very difficult year, but uh, um, I, I basically made a killing with, uh, with Fastly. Actually, I can pull up the chart. And, uh, what's going on? It's all right. Take your time. Um, actually, this is a software I don't use usually. Uh, my main computer, I kind of do Zoom with it. So okay. I'm, I'm doing oh, this okay. with my laptop. So I, I, I just installed the software yesterday. So 
Uh, but it's it's okay to show you uh, a few things. So, um, do you want it me gaps to gaps a lot? That? The gaps a lot. Are those mainly well, earnings? All those gaps. Well, well, that's that's not that's exactly the point. Uh, it, it gaps a lot uh, when you when you look at, at the chart uh, starting from here, basically, right? Yeah. So uh, basically, uh, uh, this is uh, where the stock starts to gap a lot. Uh, my point is, you know, this was the initial gap. I'm just going through the, 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 the trade real quick because I'm, you know, I'm a stock trader exclusively. I don't trade commodities and, okay. and stuff like that. Um, well, silver and gold, but not as in the commodity, but and also as in, as in stocks, mining stocks. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, okay. um, so uh, what I like to say is, you know, this is, this is a breakaway gap, actually. Uh, yeah, that removes all the lines. But anyway, uh, so I've uh, increased uh, the, 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 the... Yeah, one thing uh, FX yeah. traders don't have a lot of experience with because we trade 24-6 are different type of gaps. Now, you mentioned breakaway gaps. There are yeah. runaway gaps. There are common area gaps. Uh, yeah. uh, you can leave islands. Uh, you know, you yeah. really... Exactly. Exactly. I mean, I would, I would, uh, you know, the, the best description I would uh, like to come up with is, you know, depending on how you trade. And I do like to, you know, I do like to focus on, you know, big basing patterns, then a big gap uh, uh, accompanied by a big volume. So this is a breakaway gap. So think in terms of, you know, this is, uh, you know, some kind of, uh, you know, channel within that channel, you know, as you just described, uh, you know, Forex traders, they're going to be like uh, applying mean reversion kind of strategies. And this, this is all nice. But then when when the the let's call it the true breakout comes because of you know my material a material change maybe a new product you know this is canceling type of th uh, stuff the n in canceling like new new this could be new product uh, new uh, uh, or the becoming is now uh, the company is now becoming profitable or new ceo these kind of changes material changes they are, are often the start of a a uh, new trend, and this is something that is, uh, you know, I would call it, you know, growth, momentum, gauging story, stock potential kind of trading. This is this is what I'm trading, and to make a long story short, this is the phase where you can make a killing, and this is exactly the part of the trend where novice amateur traders are like, ah, I, I, I'm going to wait for a pullback. I want to bargain, uh, et cetera. And then when the, when, the, when the big money and the easy money has been made, then you get those situations where the stock gaps down, where you have uh, uh, extreme volatility. And, uh, and this is the reason why I pull, pulled up the chart here. This is when after uh, you know, making a killing, um, I got caught in that, uh, in that gap here. I bought below 100 and I gave back all my profits uh, for, for, for this single trade here. No, That's a no. huge gap. Was that an earnings report disappointment? Uh, yes, I believe so. I, I okay. actually don't even remember. I think earnings. And this is this is what I really like. I wouldn't call. want to remember either. <laughs> Go this ahead, is in, in terms of trading, you know, this is a momentum killer. And this is where, um, you know, as opposed to, to, to this uptrend, we now have a potential situation where we have uh, this kind of trend. And this is where, uh, you know, those who have fallen in love with this stock or get suckered in again. But uh, it just filled the gap up there at 2275. So it, that's what it, a, a lot of FX traders believe every gap will be filled. But, but the, this know, is. So that's this is, not this, always true. But I think it's complete nonsense because it depends yeah. on what kind of gap it is. You know, right. um, let's let's just remove all those lines. Um, let me let me just draw it here. You know, assuming you have some kind of, uh, you know, trading range and then the stock breaks out of that trading range, maybe retests and then, you know, some 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 huge trend uh, uh, develops. So this can be a smooth move out of the, the, the trading range here, or it can gap higher and then never look back. And then you have a gap that that's never going to get filled. I'm sure, um, you know, stocks like Apple, et cetera, when they announced the iPod or, or iPhone, I don't remember exactly. I think actually it was in, I don't want to, um, 
review Apple, but let's let's just pull up the monthly chart so so we get. I think two thousand. Uh, and of course, with the monthly chart, you don't see the gaps anyway. No, you don't. Assu ass Assuming that maybe you know here the stock gaps up or here this is the these are the kind of gaps that that never get filled you know and uh, so I would be uh, very cautious when it comes to saying uh, all gaps get filled yeah. and this is this is part of the uh, a mean reversion type of uh, trading mentality if you're a growth momentum stock you know. You, I don't think that way. So uh, for me, this is a completely different. And when I say gaps don't get filled, you know, I mean this is something you can trade. You can see my mouse, right? And, yeah. and 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 then you know, trend maybe. You know, imagine a stock that does not gap down here on earnings, but gaps up and continues its let's call it meteoric rise. Of course, you know, uh, ten years later or three years later, this gap can get filled here, right. but it's. The, you can happen with you the euro yeah you, you know you it took years for it to come back and fill it yeah yeah you same cannot, type of formation you you you, you, you cannot uh, make money with that because because the stock is going assuming you go short here the stock is going against you for too long and if it let's say more than doubles or triples uh, you have to cover at some point in time so, so is that rs rating important to you and is that uh, uh, relative strength uh, ranking no. in its sector? N no, and actually, I don't use this software. As I said, uh, oh, uh, at okay. the beginning, it's it's just for this for this interview that I that I downloaded it and uh, okay, uh, I'm using it. Um, I, what do I focus you use? On price on huh? What do you use? Uh, this is some some old German software. It's really not you know the software is not really important. Uh, the what is important, in my opinion, is uh, okay. um, what you what, what you focus on. And I, I okay. I'm a pure, you know, I, I display price and volume on my charts. I do display some some moving averages, typically the, the you know, the really simple stuff: uh, moving average tw 20, 50, 100, 200, and that's it. You know, and, okay. Uh, so for me, it's I'm I'm a you know. The tape tells it all, you know. It's it's I I I, I want to see price and uh, uh, this is let me let me let me let me put it that way. This this type of gap is a situation where a stock or a situation develops a life of its own, and then you know, I, do I need to know if it has a relative strength? Uh, I think the relative strength here is uh, compared to the. Uh, S and P five hundred or two. I, I I don't even know exactly. But okay. Uh, so no matter what it compares it to, the relative strength. You know, you 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 should be able to see it in the chart. So it doesn't matter if it's ninety seven or ninety nine or ninety or whatever. You know, and if it's a new situation, um, I'm sure that at this point in time, it probably does not have the best ratings. It's it's more like here probably where it starts to really show up on the on the scans and um, I'm glad you asked. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is where I find the stocks by scanning for above average volume. And then you get those volume spikes. And if you combine that with a chart that has put in a long base and you have a fresh new breakout, think breakaway pattern, a uh, breakaway gap. Uh, to the upside, then this is where all the mean reversion, you know, all the mean reversion people uh, are trapped because they are waiting for a pullback that never comes. And with super strong stocks, uh, my recommendation is always do not wait for, you know, cheap, easy entries because that often equates to um, waiting for a pullback that never comes. I'm talking And then if you get them, it's probably... You know, if the market accommodates people, then you should be exactly, bit, exactly. You know, suspect I could, I could, uh, the, be cynical I, about it. I I couldn't have said it better myself, and this is exactly the point I wanted to make. This is where nobody wants to buy the stock, and this is where everybody wants to buy the stock. And guess who is making money? And this this is the easy this here, right? 
this is the easy entry. Ah, oh, a bargain. Uh, uh, let's, uh, you know, I always wanted to own the stock. Now I can get it for cheap. And guess what? It's, it's a, you know, yeah. poisoned gift, so to speak. And uh, I'm, I'm not even sure if, if that term exists in English anyway. Uh, and this is, this is where it's extremely difficult to buy the stock because it's, it's, it, it's, it's a new all time high here. Um, um, uh, nobody knows uh, if it's if it's gonna uh, move up ten percent and then reverse and fall back into the pattern that is into the basing pattern, or if it develops a life of its own and then goes on to you know in this case double or triple. Actually. So, what is the most important thought in your head? Because you know, making a great forecast is you know great. Making a, a great trade and an entry is another thing, but uh, you've hit on what is the most difficult thing for most people to do. I'll include myself, and that's why I take partial profits, so I still have something on. What is your self-talk to make a great hold? Um, gun to head. This is this is what I always say. My goal is to be extremely impatient with losing trades and to be extremely patient with winning trades. And the way to achieve that is That's I, great. you know, this kind of self-talk I do is yeah. I want to let, or I want to give a stock every opportunity, every big winner. I want to give the opportunity to, to develop into a monster winner. Of course, this is not going to work every time, but once or those times it works or when it works, you can, instead of having a double, you can have a triple or, or even a fourfold increase, which is rather rare. Let's put it that way. Although Fintwit might <laughs> yeah. suggest okay. uh, other so things. So extremely patient, uh, extremely impatient with losing trades and extremely patient with winners. Exactly. If you if you do that, I, I would say you're going to be better than 90% 90, 90 of the traders out there. Yeah, because uh, that is a tough discipline to be able to do it. I mean, it's sometimes I say like moves to, you know, from 3,000 to 50,000 in Bitcoin that for the most part, I, you know, I could honestly say I wouldn't have written it because, you know, I, I got in early, got out early. So that, that, um, that, 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 that's exactly that. That's also one of the, uh, uh, you know, you, you know, you, you might have people here who, who bought here and sold here and they're like, oh, fantastic. I made 10%, but maybe even 20%, but that's not the big money. The big money is when, when there's a revaluation uh, 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 process starting or put another way here, when a new all-time high uh, uh, gets printed. Uh, um, just to, to, to be perfectly clear, I didn't uh, benefit from, from Bitcoin as much as I would like uh, uh, to, uh, but um, you know, think back when it crossed 20,000 and this is this is this is a completely different setup because that was a new all-time high. Mm -hmm. um, actually, was it an all-time high? Eighteen thousand was a yeah. Or maybe I'm mixing up between in priced in euro or, or dollars, oh, but some, yeah. somewhere around twenty thousand. And this okay. was a new all-time high. And this is you know comparable to this situation. You know, this is a situation where nobody is in the in the red everybody's in the green and there's there's no reason for for those in the trade uh, to you know to sell because because of uh, losses they might have accumulated the only reason to sell is the one you described uh, that is uh, you want to take partial profits and then you yeah, but this is this is you know this is where uh, you know think think in terms of sample size. If you do this often enough, if you force yourself to 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 give a stock the benefit of the doubt, and then to say I'll try to let a a, a big winner develop into a potential monster winner, and then if you do this over and over and over, you might latch on to some really to you know to a monster trade and then uh you know okay and uh, what about risk management olivier with those potential monster trades or in general or and uh, yeah i mean uh anytime you go into a trade you know where you're going to bail 
if exactly. a level is taken out, you know, when you go into a trade, uh, you may be looking for a monster, but you don't want to be um, eaten up by a, a monster either. So exactly. Um, well, but that, 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 what you're referring to is, you know, volatility. You want to, you want to enter in a situation where there's uh, not that much volatility. So if you don't buy uh, here, you know, and if you don't want to chase, you know, wait for the first consolidation pattern, you know, something like that. And then this is, this is your buy point here uh, where, um, uh, the stock will prove you, if, if you're wrong, the stock will prove you uh, uh, that you're wrong very quickly and you can exit for a, a rather small control loss. Uh, so, so this is the perfect entry for this one. Either, either the, well, depends on how you define aggressive, but either you buy immediately after the gap or you wait for the first con uh, consolidation, in this case, continuation pattern, and then you buy the breakout out of that pattern. Okay. Um, uh, with regards, what to, would you do right now with this stock? Uh, nothing. This is this is game over. I would say. Okay. I mean, this is this is you know this is uh, uh, next. The most important uh, uh, word for an investor and a trader, in my view, is next. Yeah, or the ability to say no to second best uh, setups. You know, this is this is. This is a new trading range. You could call it pattern morphing, you know, from, from a strong uptrend, it morphs into a sideways uh, trading. Maybe maybe this is some kind of huge, uh, uh, you know, head and shoulders pattern, uh, bearish head and shoulders, who knows? But this is, you know, uh, gun to head, I would say, you know, if, it, if it's able to take out this high, uh, I might consider going long again, or very simple, you know, uh, wait until it prints a new all-time high, and then everybody who buys, if the stock starts to move higher from here, uh, it's not going to happen tomorrow, obviously. <laughs> uh, then you have a situation where nobody wants to sell because they're in the green, you know. Uh, so there's no selling pressure here. You know, here the situation here is if the stock starts to move higher here like that. Um, with every dollar the stock moves higher, it will encounter. If you go to the to the left, that is uh, to the uh, uh, into its trading history, uh, there's going to be people who have a break even trade and who are going to say, "Ah, oh, great, I can exit for break even." And this is creating selling pressure. This is called overhead resistance, and then uh, this is this is the the performance killer number one overhead resistance. And this stock has plenty of overhead resistance plenty of disappointed traders and and also traders who are in the in the red and who who, who at the first opportunity they're given to 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 have a break even trade they're going to sell okay is that another reason it's game over because of all the supply above it now well, I like to say game over, but uh, you know i'm 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 very you may be back in the game maybe it's just uh halftime. Exactly. Right. Game over is just a, 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 you know, this is, this is just yeah. a right now, you know, uh, again, I'm very open-minded. I can change my mind very, very quickly in a heartbeat. So, oh, you must like WD Gans uh, saying, do you know it? Uh, I don't know his saying. I'm familiar with the name, but. Uh, How about this? Uh, you could write it down and, and share it with your people. If you don't learn how to change your mind, you won't have any change left. WD GAN. That's 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 a good one. I'm gonna type in change change mind. Yeah, if you don't learn how to change your mind, you won't have any change left. So, at this point, uh, Olivia, you want to show your website and the best way for people to follow you and possibly get involved with you. Uh, com is where exactly. You can find so, Olivia. The the, the only thing you, you have to pay attention to is to, to uh, type in my name correctly. Uh, you can see that I'm on Twitter here. You can follow me on Twitter. And then the orange uh, stuff here is, uh, actually, that's an interview I recently did. So if, if people want to know more about me, they can watch that interview as well. And if you, you can click through to my premium website and then, uh, uh, you know, join if you're interested and then uh, you know, clicking on subscribe uh, gives you a description of what I do. So this is the kind of uh, 
trader I am, as you can see here, trend following, momentum trading, uh, identifying proper pattern pressure, which which is you know I'm 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 this is an educational uh, service I'm offering. I'm not this is not an alert service. So it's it's for people who want to learn about trading psychology. Um, uh, you know, how I look at charts, uh, you know, uh, and I also like to say um, technical analysis to me personally is, you know, it's a pain analysis. You know, I want to analyze who wants to sell, who wants to hold on to their position and who is sitting on the sidelines and might be uh, induced to, to buy into a stock. And the more you understand how, how, how price motivates people to act in a certain way, the, the, the better you're going to be as a trader. Okay, well, let's wrap it with that. And uh, I really want to thank you for uh, coming here and sharing and giving up some of your most valuable currency, which is your time for us today, Olivier. And you're most I'm, welcome. Uh, I'm glad I reached out to you. A uh, nice interview. And like I said in the tweet, um, anyone I interview becomes my trading warrior brother. So that's what you are now. Like it or not, you're stuck with it. <laughs> that sounds good. Anytime you want to do another interview, let me know. Um, just, just because I'm not quite sure. Are you going to record this on? on and, it and is. Make, make, it no, is recorded. I mean, are you going to make it available on YouTube? Yes. For, yeah, okay. yeah. So, it'll be on YouTube. We'll tweet it out. It'll be out there for you and I, everyone to see. I'll I'll retweet that that one to my followers so that they can they can uh, watch it when they. Uh, have well, thank it. thank you very much for edifying um, our attendees today and all viewers that watch the video. Olivier, <laughs> appreciate it. I it, it was my pleasure. I thank you. Um, okay. Okay. All right. Well, uh, it, you know, it was a, a great discussion on gaps. You, you know, don't hear it a lot. So it's great to have an equity trader talk about things that, um, you know, a lot of FX guys um, aren't experienced with. I, I love them. I used to love when markets would close and reopen. So that was my biggest adjustment to FX. So again, uh, thank you very much, Olivier, and good hunting. And uh, may monsters uh, keep finding you. <laughs> and uh, you know monster actually, trades <laughs> actually actually that's a very big point uh, important point you just bring up you, you don't want to force trades you want you want monsters to find you that's that's a very good uh, also a very good summary of, of what, what uh, defines a good trader you know they they, they scan the markets uh, they do their scans and when they when they see something, they seize the, the opportunity and they don't force trades. They don't force their opinion on, on the markets, you know. Right. So uh, many monsters ahead in your future, brother. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, everyone, Olivier Tischendorf. You can find him on uh, Twitter at Tischendorf and Tischendorf.com is his website. And we'll see everyone to wrap up the week tomorrow, you could join Blake and the team in 15 minutes for the bias chart. And remember, don't just count your pips or equities or money. You know, the most important thing to count every day is your blessings. Tough to be depressed and grateful at the same time. They can't happen simultaneously. So we'll see everyone tomorrow. Adios. You're welcome, everyone. Happy Purim, Amira. All right. Adios. Shalom. Well Bye bye. Bye. Do I need to? No, I'll something? just end it here, Olivier. Nice job today, buddy. Excellent. I, I, I thought we would talk. Uh, you're not recording anymore. Well, I, I have to end, end the meeting, so uh, we'll talk after this via okay. Twitter. All right. Uh, okay. See you, everyone. Right. See. Bye bye.